They looked pretty good last night, looked good in Barry on Thursday. Of course, Jambrosic got the Wolves' only goal last night. So just about set to go. The puck drop play is underway. Craig Moore wins the faceoff for the battalion. Get it out of the zone. Andre Kuchin to Lomas. Lomas crosses the blue line. Lomas gets around one man. Quick shot, scores! Mike Lomas outweighted the defense, outweighted Riley. It's 1-0 Sudbury. And a really nice play there by Andre Kuchin again. And uh, boy, oh boy, Andre Kuchin, a lot of people were kind of keeping an eye on him and saying, uh-oh, this is another perhaps an import draft that hasn't really going to work out for the Wolves. But he is a young man that is gaining more confidence with each play. Lomas, wonderful job there to finish it off, to draw the goaltender, Ryan Tansky. Passes out to Thorne. Thorne crosses the blue line, trying to get around his man. He does. Penalty coming up. Rebound. Puck still loose. And there's going to be a penalty shot. He's going to call that, that a penalty no, shot. No, that's not a penalty shot. That's a bad call. That is not a very good call at all by number 34, Mike Cairns. Is that a makeup for the one well, that maybe should have been a penalty shot? That's not a clear breakaway. They're going to have a clear breakaway. And, and if that's a clear breakaway, I, I don't know. So there's us discussing <laughs> I think you had the rule book out there. Yeah, exactly. Stefan Thorne is going to get the penalty shot. Marcus Felino trying to plead his case. Boy, oh boy, you've got to have at least a clear step. And there was no way. So the fans aren't happy. And the referee is hearing it right now as he goes back to give some instructions to Val Valaket. So on the penalty shot, here comes Thorne. Thorne against Valaket. Thorne moves in. Score! That's a, that's a brutal call. I'm sorry, it really is. And that ties up the hockey game. And look at Trent Call. He just broke a stick on the bench. He cannot believe it. If we can get a shot at Trent Call, he's livid down there right now. As if we could swing that camera over to the Sudbury bench. We're not, there we go. We'll probably get a shot now. He is just livid. What a horrible call that was, no yeah. doubt about it. We don't like criticizing the officials on that one. But when that referee sees it, uh, that call, I'm, I know he's going to know he's made a mistake. And good job by Thorne. He did his job scoring on the penalty shot. And that's he's got some speed. Shoot, trying to go around his man. Shoot with a shot. And the rebound is loose in front. He chopped away at it. Sherratt with a one-timer. Rebound! Oh, my goodness. Visco with a wide open net. Lomas off his stick, but McFadden will follow up. Josh McFadden moves in. Wrist shot blocked in front. Loose in the slot. They score! Lomas! On the rebound and on the power play, it's a 2-1 Sudbury lead. Well, that's what they had to do. They were trying to bring it in beforehand, and they were just getting stood up at the blue line. Once McFadden came in and established the presence, you get a shot, a rebound, and bingo. There you go. Here's McFadden with the shot. Big rebound comes flying back there, cleared up by the defenseman, and then Lomas buries it for the 2-1 lead with 2.54 remaining. His second goal of the hockey game from the faceoff. Loose in the slot, they chop at it, still loose, Waters with a chance, oh, still loose, on. oh, the puck just lying there, oh, what a chance, as number eight, all alone, as Cameron Wind almost had a gift. Well, it was like time had stopped and everybody's saying, okay, where's the puck, it was sitting right there, and uh, watch it again, one, two, three, all kinds of players sitting, everybody's looking at, I don't oh, even, th I, I think, <laughs> Cameron Wynn said, I can't believe I'm going to go have it. This, I'm going to score the tying goal. <laughs> and uh, it did not happen, but my goodness, what a round of applause for uh, number 29 there. And uh, the Wolves, a rare victory at home. Just the fourth win on home ice this season. They salute the crowd. And, we, boy, we talked about Rob Visca going to see nightmares after his missed open net. I think Cameron Wynn, as you said, I think he was just shocked. Just couldn't believe it that uh, he was all alone with some time and just put it high over top of the net. So a well-deserved win. Actually, it's 2-1 the final score, not 1-1. Does the Wolves get the two points tonight? Well,